Lord, help me to speak in faith, which you've already spoken. Today, I woke up feeling as if I was in a storm, a storm of doubts, insecurities, fears, exhaustion, overwhelm, and despair all over again. A soul reached out to me. I was in the midst of a struggle and asked me for prayer. We prayed, yet the very thing we prayed against happened. I had another soul who I'd been praying for a while now and found out they did exactly what I was praying for them not to do. Then another soul called me with troubles in their marriage, and we prayed. Yet nothing happened, but rather got worse the following day. Then hearing about the continuous bad news of the state of our nation and possible World War III had me feeling defeated. This all happened within two days. I was being pummeled by lies that my prayers were useless, and I began to fear any forward movement or the desire to have faith to believe for anything to change, to take place in anything. I was feeling the pressures of ministry and responsibilities in the community. I was running on empty. I then pulled the ram of the night before that said, my people can have what they say and say they say what they have. Speak in faith. I was beyond weary as I picked up the card feeling completely dead inside of faith and moved on to the next card. It read, when you're aware of praying, do not receive. Consider how often you've heard a poor man calling and have not listened to him. St. John Christenton. I thought, well, that doesn't do it, Lord. <laughs> As I sighed deeply and went to sleep. This morning, one of my priests reached out to me and felt they received rhema for me, which was so comforting as they tried to encourage me and mentioned they felt more opposition on the way concerning certain promises. I felt so deflated as I was hoping rather to hear confirmation to what the Lord had told me, that some type of breakthrough was coming, because I remembered that's what the past recent messages said. As I sat before the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, I saw a vision of Jesus holding me. We were in the center of a tornado cell. All manner of things were flying around us, including all these words I just mentioned. And though Jesus was in the center with me, I was terrified by the storm that was surrounding me. I then remember the rhema he gave me the night before to speak in faith. But I felt I had no faith to speak, as the enemy was pelting me with lies that I've been here before. I had trusted, I had believed, and I've been disappointed, and I'm so very wary from it all. What's the point this time? What difference will it make? These feelings and voices were so overwhelming. I then used Bible promises to discern what I was hearing, which was a thought confirming what the priest said. Yet I got laziness, and I felt the Lord was saying I was being lazy in exerting my faith and proclaiming what he has spoken. I got joy. I began to say, I need your help, Jesus, please. At that moment, I looked up to see a big white spider on my masket. As I said, the devil's a lie. <laughs> I'm terrified of spiders, and I've never seen a white spider before. But I was so over it. I just got a paper towel, grabbed it with such force, smashing it and throwing in the trash. As I felt the Lord say immediately, now do that with the enemy's lies. <laughs> okay, Lord. And Jesus began speaking. My beloved, it's not just you, but all my brides are under attack now as the enemy continues to undermine their faith in my promises and what I've spoken and made known to them to do. This is a difficult cross to carry, but the greatest weapon to combat this is to speak in faith. My words through you are so powerful, my brides, so very powerful, especially when you speak my known will. Many speak amiss and prayers are not answered because they speak with their own desires and with the desire to gain selfishly for themselves. But they have still learned the secret of the power of words. I have said it, that life and death is in the tongue. Proverbs 18.21 and it is, my beloved brides, the enemy of your soul knows that and has raised many secular and new age speakers to promote this as they are taught to speak to the universe and get what they desire. And as an aside, guys, there is a popular new age book called The Secret, and it teaches you to use the power of your words to tell the universe what you want and receive it. There have been so many testimonies from people who have received financial breakthrough and all sorts of things from speaking what they want their life to become. 
I never understood it, and that for sure is the demons giving people things, which I'm sure they have a part to play in it. But that is interesting. Jesus continued, There is a very scientific and spiritual force behind the words you speak. For by word alone the heavens and earth and all in it were created. You were created in the image of God, so you too have been given power and authority with every word you speak. Even souls who do not know me can get what they desire because they have faith in what they are speaking. Although that faith will not last when difficult times come if their foundation is not in me, they can receive what they speak because they trust in the formula. Believe, speak in faith, and you shall receive. John 14 verses 13 through 14 And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. That is something I've given my people, and it works every single time. But the enemy of your soul knows this, and with every step of faith, seeks to undermine your confidence in me, assailing you with many thoughts, doubts, and contradicting situations that weakens your faith. However, those in the world are not attacked as much as my people, so they're able to stand firm in speaking what they want and receiving it, although they have no faith in me. Now do you see my prides? Why is it that they have more faith in the words they speak than my own people? I was met with the same issue of faith when dealing with my people in Israel. And it was the Roman centurion who had the greatest faith among my people because he understood authority. Matthew 8 verses 5 through 10. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, Shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one go and he goes, and that one come and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I need you, my brides, to understand this formula of faith. Believe plus speak my will in faith equals you shall receive, period. Do not let the enemy throttle you or steal from you any longer, my brides. It is time for you to rise and shine with brilliant faith and hope in me. You will never be disappointed when speaking by faith my will, and you have been blessed and graced to know my will concerning you, situations, and circumstances. So why do you doubt? Why do you allow the storms surrounding you and even the contradictions to cause you to lose heart and lose focus on what I've promised, what I've said or shown you? I need all my brides to do violence right now to the enemy and his lies, for he has taken much ground from many of you to keep your legs and mind bound to his insinuations and suggestions. No more, my beloved ones, no more. Speak in faith and you will have what you say. No longer profess what you see, what you feel, or even what you have. If you have faith like a mustard seed, that is all you need. And some of you don't even have that. Ask me for my seed of faith. I'm dropping it in the hands of all my beloved ones right now as I speak. I then saw a vision of all the brides of Christ with their hands cupped, receiving the seed of faith. Jesus continued, Take this seed and plant it firmly and deeply in your heart. And this week, moving forward, begin to speak in great faith all the things I've said to you. Speak in faith over your nation. Speak in faith over your family. Speak in faith over my promises to you. Speak in faith over my gifts and anointing I've called you to use. Speak in faith over your body, over your heart and your mind. Speak in faith, my beloved brides, and you will have what you say. I am now drenching that seed I just gave you with my graces. Speak my words and watch me move mountains. And that was the end of Jesus' message. I would like to end with a quote from Evangelica, which I found so hilarious but true. 
for those who can understand the struggles we have in having faith. Faith is one foot on the ground and one foot in the air and a queasy feeling in the stomach. <laughs> so true. So let's believe and speak in faith. God bless you, family, until the next message.